Thanks. Hey, I appreciate everybody coming. Um, I think we've had a really good fall camp up to this point as far as our work ethic. Guys are working really hard. We're making strides. I think today we made some strides on offense. Uh, one of the things that was really, really good today is we were able to finish in the red zone and score touchdowns in the red zone. Uh, that's something we've really put an emphasis on. The guys have done a really good job of that. And we were able to do that today. Um, one thing we got to get better at, as you showed, our short yardage today wasn't as good as we want it to be. Our tempo wasn't quite as good as we want it to be. Those are things work in progress. Got a lot of guys working in. We want to get a little bit better in that. Um, I did think we were able to complete a few balls down the field with our play action. Um, I think that's something that we're going to try to do, run the ball a little bit more and be able to do that. We protected the ball fairly well today. I think we had one interception today, uh, but we were able to hold on to it. Uh, we've talked to them all along about, hey, if we can hold on to the football, and take our chances, get some defenses tired, we feel like we can run the ball on them. And then we'll get a chance to make some big plays down the field. Um, one thing I'm excited about is we've got five senior wideouts coming back. We feel like they'll help us. We've got two really good running backs. We've developed a third one that's really come on. I think you saw him today, Andre Flakes. He's helped out a lot. So we think we've got a lot of depth at those positions to start off with. Our offensive line is a work in progress, but they're working really hard. They're getting a lot better. Um, we've been able to get a lot more reps this fall camp than we ever have. And what we've done is we've two-spotted some things, which means a lot of guys are getting work. And I think it's really paid off. Our guys are way further ahead right now than we've been in the past. Um, looking forward to next week, we've got to get our tempo down. We've got to be able to get it lined up quicker. And we've got to continue to find out which are going to be the 11 guys to go out there and which are going to be our guys that are going to help them do that. Uh, looking forward to it. I think the guys are ready to get to, get, get to that point. We'll have another big scrimmage on Saturday and kind of assess where we are. Uh, any questions? That's a good question. I didn't know what that was either. Uh, what it is is normally you, you, you'll practice, like say you got a team period, and you got 11 guys going against 11. Well, what we're doing is we're doing 22 against 22. We got 11 over here, 11 over there on both sides of the ball, so it ends up being 44 guys working instead of just 22. And that's been really good for us. We can do a shorter period of time and get a lot more reps. Uh, all the guys are working. Nobody's watching. That's what that means. Yeah, I think we are. Uh, there, there's parts of practice where we go really, really fast and try to really speed that tempo up. And then there's other times we slow it down and, hey, let's get after each other. They know what's coming. Let's see if we can make something happen. Uh, we're getting there. We're a work in progress, but we have made great strides from spring. We came back this fall camp further along than I thought we'd be. Yeah, I, I think one thing is, is when you get out there, you know, in a normal practice, they're getting 140 snaps during the day. Today, they probably got, the ones probably got 60, somewhere around there. So I think that makes a difference, too. They're having to push through at practice so that maybe the game becomes a little bit easier. Um, we have worked really hard on big plays. The way you make big plays happen is you've got to get them either sucked up and throw it over their head, either by running the ball or show, throwing the ball short, okay? And so once they start doing that, you're able to get behind them. Um, yeah, there's a few little tweaks. It's very similar, but there, there's some things Coach Brown brought that he had learned over the last few years that's really been helpful for us. I don't want to give those away right now, but uh, they're pretty good. I think it's part of our tempo thing, some of the tempo stuff we're doing, some of the other sets we're doing. I think that's going to be a big advantage for us this fall. Who surprised you today? Um, well, he didn't really surprise me, but uh, Andre Flakes made some really big plays today. He's, he's made some all along. Uh, I think all three of our backs you saw were really, really good. Um, uh, it was good to see Brian Holmes make some big plays down the field. Uh, that was good to see. Um, I think if we continue to do that. I think the other thing is we, we forget about our offensive line. They're a work in progress. But I didn't see a lot of penalties up there today. Um, normally, we have a few more procedure penalties early in fall. Uh, I didn't see that, so that's a good sign. We're going to continue to work on getting up and down. We were under center a little bit more today. Uh, I think you saw that. That was good. Didn't have any balls on the ground. Uh, that, that, that's the biggest thing. If we can hold on to the football, I think that's the biggest thing we can do this fall. One of the guys you had to replace last year is Chandler Worthy, but uh, how, how has the progression of uh, Jarvis Bentley and John Johnson been uh, trying to replace him on the 
Well, I think they've done it. As you saw today, they made some plays. Both of them did. Uh, Jarvis had a little banged up shoulder, but fought through it and was able to make a play down on the goal line. And you saw John make a couple plays. Uh, I, th I think we've got numerous guys. I think some of our young guys are showing some signs of coming on. Uh, Ishmael, uh, Sleem, and uh, DeAndre Douglas, both of those guys have done a nice job kind of finding their role in there. Uh, and then we've got the, the veteran crew. Sometimes you forget about just a bunch of guys that are hard workers. They battle, and, and, and they got to continue to do that.